Now let's talk about the B-post wrap. So just grab a good handful of chain and just walk up onto the car. Again, if it's on fire, I just walk right up onto the car. Don't ever stand on the front windshield. Come up here. The reason I leave that chain over there is because now I don't have to manage it. If I have too much, I just let it go, right? I want a little bit of tension on it. So I'll just pull it up like this, kneel on it, and then I'll go ahead and drop it through the window. And then what I like to do is just a little half hitch. So I'm gonna take the chain and drop it right underneath. It's holding itself where I need it to be. And then I take the chain and I bury the hook into the car, just like that. And now this thing has got five points of contact. One, two, three, four, and then five, the back side of that. It's binding on itself, so there should be no shifting. And it's equally distributing the load across that B post, okay? But now when we go to pull it, the one thing we don't wanna do is put the chain with the hook down like that, because now you have to remember, we're pulling down on this car, creating a fulcrum point, a miniature fulcrum point, but this can just pop off just like that, under tension. You see how it's already almost off? So always try to bury the hook underneath it. It's that easy and this car will flip over.